Now, some U.S. embassies are finding ways around the State Department's refusal to let them fly rainbow flags from their flagpoles in honor of Pride Month. One source told CNN that approval to fly the flag has been routine during Pride Month. But the requests were denied this year for multiple embassies. So the embassy in Berlin, the ambassador, Richard Grinnell, who is gay, plans to hang a huge banner on the side of the building. In New Delhi, India, the embassy is lit up in rainbow colors. And the website for the U.S. Embassy in Chile features pictures of its president raising the rainbow flag. In this case, this was a State Department decision. Secretary of State Michael Pompeo has authority over our missions around the world, whether those be embassies or consulates. And under the Obama administration, there was guidance that embassies and consulates could fly the gay pride flag. That authority was delegated to the chief of mission, the ambassador, the consul general, to do what he or she thought was appropriate in their particular country. Secretary of State Pompeo made a decision to proactively end that policy and to send instructions to all missions around the world that the gay pride flag was not to be flown externally at our missions around the world. That was Secretary of State Pompeo, honestly, Alex, doing something that's in line with many of his past comments on the LGBTI community. And elections have consequences. President Trump appointed someone, nominated someone who has very public and very strong views on the LGBTI community as Secretary of State. And now we're seeing the impact of that decision. Sam, you spent a lot of time in these embassies. Those who have found a quote unquote workaround, like the ones we were just mentioning, do you think that they'll face some kind of consequences from Pompeo and, and the State Department back in D.C.? I doubt that. But what it does say, Alex, is that Secretary of State Pompeo is completely out of touch with so many of the people that work for him. I worked with three separate secretaries of state. They tended to want to listen to what their staff had to say. They tended to want to listen to what their diplomats on the ground felt was important. And the secretary here is saying that his personal views are trumping those of the people that are working for him overseas and doing really important work. I think that's going to impact morale at the State Department. And it's going to impact the ability of the State Department to be taken credibly on advancing an agenda that protects LGBTI rights when everybody knows that the secretary decided not to allow his own team to fly the flag. Yeah, the, the, the State Department generally having quite a progressive policy when it comes to uh, its gay officers.